Walton decided to make a brave move of learning how to make the heart of this complex machine, the compressor. This required a very high level of precision. It was going to be a steep learning curve. In 2015, we purchased an Austrian plant which basically belongs to Germans. This is the first Bangladesh technology. Bangladesh is the first compressor manufacturing plant. In the first year, we started the compressor with a production start. It was very challenging for us. In the first year, we started the first year, the first year, the first year, the third year, the third year, the third year, the third year. This year, we started the last September, the first year, 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 the first year. We are the ninth manu compressor manufacturing country in the South Asia and the 15th compressor manufacturing country in the world. Compressor, I'm uh, going to different way to Compressor basically just one kind of engine. A stone, a kind of crankshaft, a connecting rod, a cylinder bore. This is the total bearing surface ta very important. Bearing surface er friction is very important. huge precision maintain kurta. Most of the material is the micron level er parameter maintain kurta. When Walton started to produce refrigerators, it was not an instant success. In fact, it came after a lot of failures. 400 failures, to be precise. And unfortunately, <clears throat> the very first 400 refrigerators they have to bring back from the country just because of quality matters. The lesson learned is being implemented with a micron level precision. It is the key for the smooth and noise-free functioning of a compressor. In Walton's compressor, each component is measured with high precision, up to as little as 0.2 microns. Micron is short for micrometer. A micron is 1 70th the thickness of a human hair one millionth of a meter or one divided by 10 to the power of six. Compressor is a designing a show where all of it is a product that is robust. Because compressor is a product that is a shell 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 at the same time, uh, higher COP, you know, our compressor winding, compressor uh, friction, compressor part er precision, compressor manufacturing er precision, eglo maintain kore basically low COP, or uh, that uh, high energy efficient compressor to kori amra. We are producing uh, world's most silent compressor. Walton compressors are put to test in the Hemi and Echoic acoustic chamber. This chamber is armed with eight high sensitivity microphones strategically placed to record sound emitted by the compressor. Only after the compressor passes this silent test does it get into a refrigerator. Walton believes that this adherence to very strict quality standards gave them a distinct competitive edge and a lot of confidence in their own abilities. This confidence was about to result in a multitude of new products that would soon change Bangladesh's electronic goods industry forever. SM Nazrul Islam was a small-scale businessman. In the 90s and end of 90s, the real estate sector started booming. And that's when the Walton family started manufacturing the part of uh, real estate sector products. And they knew that now it's the time for real estate sector to grow. They thought that, uh, no, we'll do something big for the country. So what will be the next step of Bangladesh? In 1977, his son Nurul Alam Rizvi and his brothers joined his business. And later, it transformed into what is now known as Walton. They wanted to bring a change and be the pioneer in the domestic electronics and electrical industry. 
a change that would change the course of the country's economy. The five brothers made Walton means wind of alteration to change the history of this industry from trading to manufacturing. Each of the five brothers took care of different responsibilities. Initially, they were importing electronic goods. Once familiar with the business, they started their own research and development. The focus was indigenous technology. Walton is one of those rare companies that transformed smoothly from importers to manufacturers and achieved considerable success in less than a decade. 2013 established television manufacturing plant. 2014 established kitchen appliances manufacturing plant. Bangladesh was desperately looking for newer avenues to create employment opportunities for its people. Walton needed a skilled workforce to manufacture high-end products. One big factor in Bangladesh's and Walton's favor was that the workforce was available at a very competitive cost. It was a country which was once considered the population of Bangladesh as a liability. Now the population of Bangladesh has become an asset. And uh, this human resource development uh, is doing a wonderful job in taking Bangladesh to the next level. Very early in their business, Walton had realized that imported appliances often failed to meet the domestic requirements. Bangladesh has a tropical monsoon climate. This part of the world has warmer temperatures, heavy rainfall, high humidity levels, large seasonal variations and tropical cyclones. The rainy season is from April to September and it is the warmest, while the winter season is from December to February and is comparatively colder and drier. The country is densely populated and their diet is largely fish. This makes their technological needs unique. At Walton, they seem to know their people and proudly customize their products for the people of Bangladesh. The major factors in their growth was not just the technology and their pricing power. They claim it was their very stringent quality checks and the ability to cater to the local Bangladesh market. That made Walton a very trusted name, first in Bangladesh and then slowly in the international markets. Bangladesh people are mostly dependent on meat. So uh, considering that factor, we have developed a uh, refrigerator with customized uh, deep portion that is much larger than the usual refrigerator. And uh, similarly for all the products what we develop and uh, in developing the ACs also we have taken into the consideration of requirement of uh, Bangladeshi people. Walton has done wonderful in production of refrigerator, refrigerators in Bangladesh. Uh, as I know that their current yearly turnover is around 7,000 pro taka which is uh, near to about almost 850 million US dollar. After establishing itself in refrigerators, it was time to move on to other products. Walton always had a clear vision for the range of products it wanted to introduce. The vision was dictated by the needs of its people. They wanted to grow on the back of competitive prices by targeting the middle and lower income groups and also by maintaining a good standard of quality. Common good has been Walton's goal since the beginning. Walton says that they always wanted to take away the tag of luxury from technology. They have been doing it successfully by providing cost-effective solutions to the masses of Bangladesh. What I think personally that technology should not come with the tag of luxury. Uh, and I want Walton to remove that tag. I want the technology to be accessible to all, all sorts of people, all class of people. And uh, Walton will be doing that, I'm telling you. The economy of Bangladesh is on the rise, but it has not always been like this. There was a time when refrigerators and air conditioners were considered a luxury. 
Walton made sure their pricing was such that it could appeal to all segments and made these luxuries affordable to everyone. Whenever we achieve the speed, we also need to take off care of the quality. So we try to keep up the precision level. Every product that we manufacture, it's maintained the same quality and the same Walton standard. Walton has played a very important role and has uh, brought these uh, different, different home appliances within the purchase limit of a customer. I'm buying products uh, from Walton for my own house. Even my staffs, people working under and over me, everyone is buying Walton products. Today, the aircon unit is testing their new voice control they see. This has been designed such that it needs no internet to use this feature. This is the first time Bangladesh has seen anything like this. Hello, Waldo. Hello. Is he star? Okay, charge. Hello, Waldo. Hello. Cool mode. Okay, cool mode. 16 degree. Okay, 16 degree. When Walton decided to start producing electronic appliances for Bangladesh, they needed two things, the technical know-how and also a considerable workforce to be able to manufacture with speed and precision. To further the cause of common good, they wanted to create skilled employment opportunities as well. Their ethics in business is so good that they really show in every step of their business their love for the country. They love this country, they are employing the skilled and semi-skilled labor force and uh, they are gradually uh, increasing employment opportunities for the educated labor force which actually uh, really needs a job. As a CEO I am blessed that I have 30,000 of my family members. Those are not my employees, they are literally my family members. I can trust them, I can rely on them, I am blessed, I have them. Each and every newly introduced product was giving them confidence, but their boldest move was yet to be introduced. It was in a sector where there was not a single local manufacturer in Bangladesh. This move was about to become a critical juncture for the consumer tech market in Bangladesh. Graphic An electronics giant that alone accounts for 67% of Bangladesh's total electronics export. A company that relies heavily on state-of-the-art technology and innovation. A company that is taking Bangladesh to the world. Tomorrow is something. We could have 50 manufacturing plants for the world. The story behind the phenomenal rise of a company in the world of electronic goods. Super Factories Walton on National Geographic. Walton's boldest move was yet to come. From refrigerators and ACs, they started eyeing the laptop and mobile market. Central to all lives, the cell phone only seemed a natural next step. Walton launched the first ever locally manufactured smartphone in Bangladesh. Another step in making Bangladesh self-reliant.
ফ্রিজ বানানো থেকে শুরু করে এখন সেল ফোন বানাচ্ছি বিশাল একটি প্রোডাক্ট ফ্রিজ ফিট লম্বা দেড় ফিট দুই ফিট চওড়া সেখান থেকে হাতে তালুতে হয় একটু ছোট্ট একটি ডিভাইস এখন আমরা তৈরি করছি ব্যাপারটি বড় থেকে ছোটতে আসা না ব্যাপারটি হচ্ছে একটি টেকনোলজি থেকে আরেকটি টেকনোলজিতে শিফট করা অ্যান্ড টেকনোলজি যত ছোট হবে প্রিসিশন লেভেল তত স্ট্রিক্ট হবে ইটস এ লাইফ ইউ ক্যান থিঙ্ক ইউর লাইফ উইদাউট এ সেল ফোন So we decided that we should uh, do our smartphones and also feature phones and it will be affordable for everyone. Walton tries to ensure an affordable price point along with rigorous quality ch- True to their aim of taking the technology to the common folks, Walton introduced their Made in Bangladesh laptops. There was a special focus on students and young professionals. Laptops came with Bijoy Bengali keyboard keeping the distinct customer requirements and sensibilities in mind ager boro desktop theke ekhon choto laptop jemon dam beshi highly configured there onek kichu thake bhitore the same way we just shifted our technology to that technology to just keep pace with the world the journey of laptop is not more than 2.5 years our walton laptop we are producing 5000 laptops in a day and in two shifts and yearly we can produce 1.5 million laptops for bangladesh and international for export purpose each computer we are uh, checking 32 tips uh, basically uh, display check uh, processor speed check hdmi check all connectivity check uh, wi-fi check bluetooth check uh that means 32 check we are using here they started as importers of black and white television sets and today walton manufactures freezers led televisions air conditioners washing machines blenders rice cookers gas stoves compressors rechargeable batteries cookers fans and mobile phones we do have a very long line of a product if i count it like approximately in terms of uh, just major SKUs, it would be more than 100. And if we go for like variations, only in freeze we have more than 900 variation in terms of door pattern, colors and those things. So the, you're considering the, all the products, it would be more than like 2000. Walton has been taking rapid strides, introducing new products, increasing their workforce and adopting new technologies. Making and assembling all these products needs an approximate of 1.9 million screws, nuts and bolts every day. Walton has taken the task of doing this themselves. They believe that vertical integration saved them not only time and money, but ensured something more valuable, quality. Walton, when started, it has a very limited uh, amount of raw materials available in locally. So most of the things, it seems that it has, to, it has to be imported from outside of the country. We decided to go for vertical integration. From the very beginning, the factory the factory the factory the factory the factory সার্ভিস পয়েন্ট আমাদের নিজেদের পুরো বাংলাদেশে 72 টি সার্ভিস পয়েন্ট রয়েছে আমাদের আমাদের কনস্ট্রাকশন টিম নিজেদের উই ডু কনস্ট্রাকশন উই ডু বিল্ড অল দা বিল্ডিংস বাই आवर ओन ইঞ্জিনিয়ার্স ওয়ালটন স্টার্টেড বিলিভিং ইন প্রোডাক্ট ইকোসিস্টেম দ্য ম্যানুফ্যাকচারিং ফ্যাসিলিটি ইজ কারেন্টলি 750 acres and is continuously expanding the average size of a football field is 2.67 acres the size of the Walton manufacturing facility can accommodate 280 football fields. Whatever we need, we'll try to manufacture in these premises. That is one of the major aim, so that we can retain our quality and ensure the quality and also ensure the availability on time. So that's why we even manufactured the appliance screw that is needed for the, even, the, even of the smallest appliances is manufactured over here. To ensure that we do maintain the proper quality that is required for the final products. According to a UN report, sustained and inclusive economic growth can drive progress, create decent jobs for all and improve living standards.
An inclusive growth means taking care of the employees and also the environment in which they work. যে সকল জায়গাতে ব্র্যান্ড বিচরণ করবে সেই সকল জায়গাগুলোকে সাসটেইনেবল করা টেকসই করা যুগ যুগ যেন টিকে থাকে ওয়ালটন হ্যাজ এস্টাবলিশড বেটার বাংলাদেশ টুমারো इट्स अ ইনিশিয়েটিভ फ्रॉम ওয়ালটন টু এনश्योर दैट द এনश्योर द গ্রিনার ফিউচার ফর आवर ফিউচার জেনারেশন ফ্যাক্টরি এমিশনস এন্ড ওয়েস্ট ইজ অলওয়েজ আ কোশ্চেন ওয়ান উড আস্ক ইফ প্রোডাকশন ওয়াজ হ্যাপেনিং এট দ্য স্কেল But what happens here at Walton is extraordinary. They explain that not only do they reuse all metal waste in their metal casting unit, but they even burn all their non-biodegradable waste. Suppose in refrigerator we are using environment friendly blowing agent that is cyclopentane. We are using environment friendly refrigerant at the same time we take the pride that we are one of the largest plastic recycler in bangladesh we do uh, recycle around like 1200 tons of plastic per month and we basically convert it into some non functional parts many hazardous chemicals and highly flammable materials are used within the premises of the walton factory The safety team conducts regular drills to make sure the workers know what to do in case of an emergency. We have our own biogas plant. We do decompose them and generate gas that is used in for some other functions like cooking and other things. Regarding the all the metal waste, we have a metal casting plant. so almost all the metals that metal waste that we generate we basically recycled into some other functional forms Walton believes in taking care of their employees apart from taking care of their environmental safety the management is also actively involved in their lifestyle needs their nutrition being one of them access to healthier food encourages a healthier lifestyle among employees at walton the nature of work is such that they are often on their feet or need to sit in one position for long hours nutrition is the key for any workforce walton makes sure that all 30000 workers get a healthy meal at the cafeteria 30000 workers get a meal of humble rice and chicken curry 5000 kilos of rice and 6000 kilos of meat is cooked and consumed here every day a company that eats together stays together eta ekta philosophy ache seta hocche je those who are working inside my factory they should not be bothered about their regular bazar korar je jhamela she bazar korar je jhamela mathay jeno na thake bazar korar chinta theke jeno kaaje innovation e ডেডিকেশনে যেন কোনো প্রবলেম না হয় তিন বেলা খাবার কোম্পানির চিন্তা ওয়ালটনের চিন্তা ইউ জাস্ট গিভ ইউর ইফোর্ট টু মেক দিস ব্র্যান্ড প্রেসিয়াস지금 우리 월터는 올해부터 새 CEO가 부임하신 이후로 비전 2030 이라는 비전을 채택을 해서 10년 안에 월드 탑 With an ambitious Vision Go Global 2030, Walton is ready to invest heavily in the latest state-of-the-art technologies like IoT and AI ML. Skilled engineers and experts from home and abroad are working in its various sectors, including research and innovation and quality management. Walton's aim is to win the hearts of the consumers across the globe with its world standard made in Bangladesh products. I would say that in next uh, 10 years Walton will be doing much better doing more heavy products and they will shift their business to what Bangladesh needs the people of Bangladesh needs 
and I would say the rest of the world needs. And Walton has a roadmap ready for the future. And it is something that is going to be a new chapter in human development. Walton had already made a mark in Bangladesh. A happy, dedicated, skilled workforce and the technological prowess has made it a dominant player. For Walton, it was now time to go global. To make this happen, they needed a diverse range of products and rigorous quality checks. But yes, as we are moving globally, we are also developing product considering the requirement of our customers globally. The products go through rigorous checks and tests. From phones to washing machines, they are tested for endurance, climate, performance and durability. They make sure their products are ready for use. But as Walton expands, there are operational issues at each and every stage that need to be sorted out or the production can come to a halt. There are lots of operational issues that I had to go through every day. There could be problem with maintenance, problem with power and lots of uh, decisions that you have to give on, uh, on your feet actually. So that's the part of operations that need to be taken care of. It's going through the operational issues that this comes in and decision has to be made on the basis of the situation, prioritizing the situation. Good business ethics require one to be always ready to respond to ever-changing market demands with innovative brilliance and yet maintaining the high quality standards. Walton tries to achieve this with their long list of products. Our business intelligence team is data on the Demand jedi ke thakbe, juge chahida milye, we have to switch that section. Dhaka is the fourth most congested city in Asia. The Walton containers make their way through these crowded roads to 40 different countries by land, air and sea. The overseas market for household electronic appliances is worth more than 420 billion US dollars. For Walton to want to swim through to international waters, was an inevitable next move. Walton wants to be taken seriously as a global tech giant. They want to have enough manufacturing muscle to manufacture a large range of products. Amra proti bochori export market ta ke boro korchi, production line ke boro korchi, ebong product diversity er madhyome prochur karmoshongsthan srishti korchi, ebong eta diye amra chai agami Bangladesh ke bodle dite. We have started our export television export business from 2018 and it is increasing day by day. This year we have exported 200,000 television in overseas market and 2.44 million USD worth in a single day. Walton had competitors as well and to be ahead of the curve, focus on research and innovation was key. And for Taposh, Industry 4 was the way forward. Industry 4 is the name given to the fourth revolution and that is digitization of manufacturing enhanced with smart and autonomous systems fueled by data and machine learning. Industry 4 is being hailed as the new chapter in human growth and development. From product design to technologies like AIML for machine learning and IoT had to be given focus. Industry 4 near research and Innovation er onik kaaz roi se. Every prediction is hinting towards one direction. The future is digital. In the current 21st century, data is being branded as the new oil. There is a great acceleration in the use of technology and digitization. And this digitally enabled productivity is being said to be the fourth industrial revolution. When we talk about fourth industrial revolution, when we talk about digital Bangladesh, when we talk about industries to grow, especially in light and heavy engineering, manufacturing cars, manufacturing television, freeze air condition, there the name Walton comes. They are the pioneers in Bangladesh.
বর্তমান বিশ্বে প্রযুক্তিগত উৎকর্ষতায় যে জিনিসটা নিয়ে সবাই খুব কাজ করার চেষ্টা করছে সেটা হচ্ছে আইওটি ইন্টারনেট অফ থিং আমরাও আমাদের রেফ্রিজারেটর এবং এসিতে এই প্রযুক্তি সংযুক্ত করেছি এবং ভবিষ্যতে আমরা যে সমস্ত পণ্যে এই প্রযুক্তি সংযুক্ত করা সম্ভব সেগুলো করার জন্য কাজ করছি ওয়ান অ্যাপ উইল কন্ট্রোল ইচ অ্যান্ড এভরি প্রোডাক্টস অফ ওয়ালটন মে বি উইদিন হ্যালো ওয়ালটন processes and things. International market analysts think that Bangladeshi brands have enough potential to grab a lion's share in the global consumer electronics market. Bangladesh has achieved tremendous success in exporting consumer electronics products. Walton uh, is and playing its major role in electronic industry. While attaining the SDG goal and uh, to be a trillion dollar economy by 2030, we will be first trying to attain the 500 billion dollar uh, target, I mean the GDP size to be by next three years. They are exporting to those European countries now. Their marketing is so good, they have grabbed the African market. Uganda, Nigeria, Malay, uh, Asian countries like Yemen, uh, Iraq, uh, Malay and other countries, they are exporting now to many, many places. Walton has set a target to increase the export volume to 1 billion US dollars within 2025. This is an ambitious target, but it is in sync with the fact that Walton has been playing a leading role in the efforts of flourishing local export-oriented industries and taking Bangladesh to the world. In the coming year, we'll be making cars in Bangladesh. The Korean cars will be made here. And within next two years, electronic cars will be made here. Tomorrow is something we could have 50 manufacturing plants throughout the world within next 10 or 12 years, within the next decades. Those factories might produce more developed IoT devices, more developed appliances product, even my electric vehicle, even my batteries, even my flying cars. Companies like Walton seem to be paving the way for the bright future of Bangladesh. With their expanse of products and love for their country, they seem to be on the right track to make Bangladesh self-reliant by 2030. We want to see Bangladesh as a uh, developed country, having international connectivity, having international people around us. And we want this country to really have a real step around the world as we dream of to be the 26th economy of the world by 2030. And in that uh, endeavor and uh, in order to reach the, that goal, we need Walton also to be with us. So companies like Walton is actually a blessing for Bangladesh. Walton and Bangladesh started their journey together, both with their share of obstacles. And accolades are today ushering in a bright future for the next generation of Bangladesh. With their arms reaching across the world, their expansive range of products, and their ever-progressive technological muscle. All eyes are surely on Walton.